Hey guys, Trevor Boone from Emerald City Guitars. My pick of the day is this 1979 Hardtail Fender Stratocaster and a 65 Fender Deluxe Reverb. So we'll start with this guitar, a little backstory of it. I sold this guitar to one of my dear friends and prolific songwriter, Noah Gunderson, who's a local musician who's known worldwide, put out a ton of records. So I see him all the time in and out of the shop and he'll come in to kind of pick different flavors and tools for his next record and tours with it, records with it. And a lot of times we'll see it back in here when he's ready to kind of change things up. So this is one of those guitars. I sold him a couple years ago. We kind of both huddled over it. We loved it because it's a hardtail up and you get a lot different feel on a hardtail strat. You get all that straty tone that you need, but there's something about the direct body contact that just makes it a real cool rock and roll guitar with a lot of stability. With the maple board as well, you get kind of tele territory. Another reason this is probably here is Noah has a pretty much matching Telecaster as well that he's hanging on to. And I think there was a little crossover there. But you know, again, it did its own thing. I saw him play live with this and it's, it's a really cool guitar. I'm glad he kept it in such amazing condition because it was a little different than most things he grabs because it was a mint guitar. It, was, it looks like it's museum quality, but because it plays so good, sounds so good, that didn't matter. But he took good, great care of it while he did own it. The case too, we were just talking about this before we pressed record. The case is so cool. It's original, of course. The interior is beautiful. It's very 70s really matches this kind of mocha natural finish. A couple points about this guitar that are important to me is the maple board. I love 70s era maple boards. I had a 76 Strat. It just had that hard rock maple feel and you can totally dig in these things, beat them up and they, uh, they take it. They're killer instruments and something about that neck is just, to me, unique to the 70s. And, I dug it. I like maple boards and rosewood boards on strats, but for the 70s era, this just is kind of your common standard setup, so you're not steering too far off the road with it. It's got the F-style tuners, of course. This guitar is all original except for a new nut and a really good refret. That really brought this guitar to life. As you know, guitars from this era, they start wearing down quite a bit or they get divots. They need to be filed or dressed or Partially refretted, we just did the full refret on this guitar because it had so much potential and that was kind of keeping it back and it turned out great. They're kind of medium jumbo, I guess you could say jumbo, but the way it plays just feels a little bit more natural than, than straight big jumbo frets, but. Okay, so enough about this. Next to me, I have a 1965 Fender Deluxe Reverb, a no-brainer amp for me, one of my favorite amps ever created. This particular one came in from a buddy of mine who went up to just a bigger amp, came in with a uh, new old stock grill as well. On it right now is they replaced, it looks great, but in a box is an old NOS, new old stock fender grill. That's the only thing that's going on with this. The person kind of kept it with it, just in case you wanted to display it as purely collectible or whatever. They were kind of toting around playing it, so they figured they'd keep this really great repro grill on. Awesome amp, 22 watts, 112. It's everything about old Fender amps in one really cool small combo. So it's a very practical setup. Fender, Fender, Strat, and Deluxe. It's one of my favorite combinations, so figured we'll give it a shot. All right, it's my time to shut up. I'm gonna pass this over to Carl Vandervelden, one of my dear friends I've known since I was this big, and he's gonna make some noise out of this.
All right, you guys, that was a 1979 hardtail Fender Stratocaster, previously owned by Noah Gunderson. Go look him up. And a 65 Fender Deluxe Reverb. See you next time.